Hello Barbies and Kens, it's Alexander Robinson. Welcome to the channel, and this is my review for Barbie, directed by Greta Gerwig, starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, and it's a movie that I never thought in a million years I'd go out of my way to willingly see. But here we are. This movie follows Barbie, played by Margot Robbie, who lives in Barbie land. Everything's lovely, peaceful, the Barbies run everything, and the Kens are just there as well, and Alan. But one day, Barbie starts experiencing some weird things. Her heels are starting to touch the floor. There's no longer a magic sense with her. She starts having thoughts about death. So she's instructed by Weird Barbie to head into the real world to try to fix this rift between Barbie land and the real world. So it's basically Barbie walking around in the real world. Ken is with her on this journey, which may or may not have been a good idea. I've already talked about and reviewed the movies that were my anticipated of 2023. Uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Uh, and now with those two out of the way, I can look forward to Godzilla Minus One. Uh, but the one movie that everyone was looking forward to, well, two movies, uh, was Barbie and Oppenheimer, to the point where people created this phenomenon Barbenheimer, where you pretty much went out to see a double feature of both Barbie and Oppenheimer, which I did, but I did an Instagram poll asking which of these two movies should I review first. Oppenheimer was in the lead for a long time, and I was all set to review that movie first since it was the first one I saw, but Barbie came in at the last minute and sniped that win, so... I'm here reviewing Barbie. And I didn't play with Barbies as a kid. When I was a kid growing up, there were three types of toys I played with. I played with Godzilla, I played with Star Wars, and I played with Jurassic Park. Uh, those were the only types of toys that I played with growing up. Uh, so Barbie was not something that I even thought of. The thought of playing with Barbies was just kind of icky. And I know we're in different times. Uh, it's really sexist for me to have that mindset. But you know, when you're a young kid growing up, you have that mindset like anything directed towards girls is just icky and gross. Uh, but at the same time, uh, Greta Gerwig has really proven herself to be one of the best directors working today. Uh, even though I didn't love Little Little Women, that was a really good movie, and Lady Bird is absolutely fantastic, one of my favorite films of 2017, and this is another win for her. And not only that, uh, as I said on Letterboxd and even Twitter, I actually prefer this to Oppenheimer, so uh, that's a weird uh, situation we live in. But thanks to Greta Gerwig's direction, the script that she co-wrote with Noah Baumbach, and the magnificent cast, uh, this really ended up being a huge surprise, and I'm not exaggerating that. Uh, this movie was a lot of fun and far better than it had any right to be. Let's talk about the cast, first of all. Barbie is played by Margot Robbie, or I should be more specific. Typical Barbie is played by Margot Robbie, because you have Writer Barbie, played by Alexandra Shipp, Weird Barbie, played by Kate McKinnon, and President Barbie, played by Ezra Ray. All of them are good, but Margot Robbie is the main Barbie, and she's just perfect for this role. I mean, she looks like a Barbie doll already, but she has a very upbeat attitude, she's kind, and she's very enjoyable to watch. In fact, a lot of this movie with her and Ken, who I'll get to in a bit, is about finding your place in the universe and just figuring out who you are and what you want to be defined as. Now, as for Ken, there are multiple versions. One played by Simu Liu, aka Shang-Chi. Another played by Kingsley ben Adir, aka Gravig from Secret Invasion, but the main Ken is Ryan Gosling, and he stole every scene that he was in. He was a perfect Ken, cracked me up with every moment he was on screen, and there's actually a lot more to this character that the trailers don't really give away. I mean, I don't remember the trailers all that much, but there's something that they do with Ken that I didn't really see coming, and in a way, it makes the whole Barbenheimer phenomenon make that much more sense. I won't spoil what that reasoning is in this review, but I'll talk about it when I review Oppenheimer. But he was great. And the jokes are really good. The movie has a very meta sense of humor about itself. There are some jokes that I'm surprised Mattel was like, yeah, you can put that in the movie. There are some jokes that caught me completely off guard where I was howling with laughter. And there were a few jokes that I'm pretty sure Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach just went, yeah, we're gonna put this in whether or not Warner Brothers likes it or not. Uh, although, 
There's one joke in particular that I really loved, delivered by Alexandra Ship, that I'm pretty sure Warner Brothers was like, yeah, go ahead and put that joke in. We're, we're okay with that. Getting back to the actual actors themselves, I talked about the ones that played the Barbies and the Kens, but you also have Will Ferrell as the head of Mattel. He's basically just Will Ferrell again, but he's funny. America Ferreira has a very important role in this film. She might come in halfway through the movie, and when she's introduced, she might seem inconsequential at first, but as the movie goes on, you realize that she's actually more important than you realize, and she delivers a very powerful monologue that I myself cannot relate to as a man, but it's certainly one that hits home for women, and even as a man, you have to sit there, listen to it, and go, yeah, that's that actually makes a lot of sense. I don't want to really get into it a whole lot, but it plays into a theme that the movie has where it talks about toxic masculinity, the way women are unfortunately mistreated in society and how society expects them to behave. There's a lot that I truly didn't expect to see out of a Barbie movie, which is why I say that this is much better than it has any right to be. It's also got a really great look to it. The way Barbie Land is designed is very dreamlike. It it looks like a bunch of people walking around in a toy set, pretty much. But the production design is really good. Everything looks very real and it's impressive to watch. And the movie is never boring. It's under two hours, it moves at a really great pace, and there's a lot in this movie that made me want to watch it again. I'd never thought that would happen for me, but Barbie was such a surprise that it's a movie that I'd be willing to watch again, and maybe stick it on my uh, best of the year list. Uh, we'll see what happens, but for right now, Barbie is easily a film that's worth seeing in your lifetime. Even if you are not in the target audience, uh, like me, I am nowhere near close to being Barbie's target audience, you will get something out of it. In fact, the way this movie is made, with the jokes and even the themes of the film, it's not really made for little girls at all, which is essentially Barbie's target demographic, so that's really Really surprising. But like I said in my review of Are You There God It's Me Margaret, one of the best things about a movie is when it can appeal to a much wider audience and not just the target demographic. So easily one of the best films of the year and the biggest surprise, I think, of 2023 so far. And there you go, that's my review for Barbie, and I guess you'd consider this to be part one of my Barbenheimer review series. Uh, obviously Oppenheimer will be part two of that series, and I should probably mention again the WGA and SAG-AFTRA unions are still on strike. Consider donating to the Entertainment Community Fund to help out industry workers who are out of a job. And keep supporting both unions however which way you can. But until then, I want to know what you guys think about Barbie. If you've seen it, what did you think? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, Threads. I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, have a good day and take care of yourself.